हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम राघव एंड टुडे आई वांट टू शेयर विद यू माय जर्नी ऑफ ऑटोमेशन हाउ डिड आई स्टार्ट ऑटोमेशन और हाउ डिड ऑटोमेशन टेस्टिंग हैपन टू मी व्हाट ऑल थिंग्स आई यू नो डिस्कवर्ड और फाउंड द चैलेंजेस आई फेस्ड एंड देन मे बी इट कैन ऑल्सो हेल्प यू इन योर जर्नी सो इट ऑल स्टार्टेड इन 2008 when i started working and i uh, took a temporary job in hcl i was actually waiting for my infosys joining which was uh, still pending so i started working as a temporary job uh, and then i got my joining for infosys in 2009 so i went to mysore infosys mysore campus where we had a uh, six months long training and it was a really really good training and we were trained on different topics platforms languages etc and after that after the training when we came into production uh, i along with some of my batch mates got into a testing projects we we got a testing project and uh, you know we were not very excited we thought that you know it is a little bit unfortunate that we have been trained and now we are given a testing project but then we th- said okay maybe we will switch it later on let's see what happens so there it was a very very simple testing project everything was manual testing we had to see the requirements and then create scenarios and test cases and then we have to run the test cases on the application and if we found any issue or defect we had to raise the defect in the uh, defect system so it was very very simple and it continued like this for some time and then i got a transfer to a different location of infosys and there i got into a i was assigned a again a testing project but here it was manual plus automation both okay and here for the first time i got a chance to taste what exactly is automation testing so i did not know anything about automation testing before that and we started on the project i i started to learn things uh, and it was uh, it was a project where the earlier teams had already worked on it they had already created the automation framework and everything was in place we just had to run some tests so it was mostly the regression phase going on so we had to just run the existing test cases automation test cases and then if we find any defect we had to log it so it continued like that for some time but then after some time there was a need to update and upgrade the framework based on the changes in the application and requirements of the project and the earlier team who had created the framework and who had worked on the framework they had already left they had been uh, assigned to different projects some people had left the company so there was nobody to uh, you know guide us what to do how to do so we uh, we were all uh, we were like five or six people in the team in the automation testing team and we had to decide what to do so our manager gave us the task that you have to you know get into the framework and understand it all by yourself no matter how much time it takes or whatever you have to do you have to do it and then you have to you know fix the things upgrade the framework and uh, you know nobody wanted to do that because it was like uh, it was difficult also it was very difficult to understand we did not actually know what to do and we had been doing manual testing for you know quite some time now uh then i thought let's take a chance let's see what it is and let's dig into uh go inside the framework and see what is the code and try to understand uh, at my max what will happen is we will fail that's okay but let me try it so i took up the responsibility and i you know tried to see what i can do so i started looking into the framework into the code started understanding the code i you know learned how to do step by step debugging how to go inside the code and then run and see uh, which line is getting executed what each line is doing so it took a long long time for me to actually understand things and uh, you know i used to take a copy of the framework and make some changes and see what it will do what will happen so you know bit by bit i started understanding the framework and then also started doing some upgrades based on the requirements of the project and you know within few months i i became the like the go to guy for any framework enhancements for any framework uh, updates upgrades fixes because i was doing it on a regular basis so that was a really really you know good phase where i started learning automation testing started 
going inside the frameworks understanding the code and the different things in the frameworks how things work at the back end and then going deep into automation testing so it was all going good and then came a time where i had to switch and i switched to a very very small company or you can say it was like a startup and there uh, i was given the responsibility to start a complete automation team and project because they were doing our testing but it was all manual and they had to start automation it was like a startup and i was given the responsibility for that and again it was a huge thing and uh, you know i did not had a lot of experience but i thought let's see uh, we will understand we will learn it was a very very small team so it was a you know like 25 people team or uh, including all the developers testers admin people uh networks people everyone and we all used to sit in the same room so we all knew each other we all could talk to each other we could understand what is happening in the application so developers testers everyone was there in the same room so it was a great environment we got uh, into you know we understood the application very well and then i got a lot of help as well to understand the application and then see what works well i did my own research analysis and then we started doing automation testing so it was mostly apis and i started using soap ui so it was you know very much used that time they were already using it for manual testing so the same tool i picked up and i said that okay let's see how we can automate the same things we are doing in manual testing and then using groovy language and then uh, you know uh, going inside the tool and seeing how, how we can actually automate the existing test cases i started creating the framework so that was a great great experience of doing automation from scratch so i started and created the complete framework from scratch and i was the only person in the automation team and then i grew the team uh, we you know hired more people into automation i uh, gave them kts and made them understood about the framework is how it works and then this is how we grew our team so this was again a great experience and we had a lot of challenges almost every day we used to face challenges with the framework with the requirements uh with different things how to we would do this in the framework if we have to do this particular you know change what we have to do if we have to incorporate this particular thing in the automation framework how we would do it how we schedule it how we run parallel testing how we you know make uh, run different uh make our api test run on different environments in parallel a lot of things were there so we handled everything we uh, we had to write our own code so everything we handled and we faced the challenges so this was the api testing automation testing project which was the first automation testing project that i uh, you know created from scratch design plus development and then i was the single person and then we we grew into a a good team of automation testing engineers and then we went to the next phase where we designed and developed a ui testing framework for the same application there was a ui we again used selenium and java and designed the complete framework then we uh, did some database as well we added some database uh, testing there as well then we combined api tests with our ui tests so all this we learned we uh, learned by doing we learned we failed and then we tried different things we again failed we tried different things and then we finally passed so uh, we faced a lot of challenges and what i can tell you is you have to start don't worry about a lot of things you take up the challenge take up the responsibility today with a lot of help available with a lot of online resources available we have ais we have uh, you know a lot of things if you whenever you are stuck you can go and check online so you will get a lot of help so when people ask me how do i start automation testing or how do i switch from manual to automation testing if it is manual to automation then you can continue with your own application you can see what fits best for example if it is api testing you can see the tools which are available for api testing and then you can start learning them start applying your knowledge whatever you have learned and then start you will start to see the results from the very first or the second day similarly if it is ui automation you see what are the what are the tools available or something which is already used in your company or organizations you can take help from your 
teams from your seniors and you can start working and start doing something so the best way for learning automation is start doing start building something and very soon you will see these things running and you will get a lot of confidence a lot of excitement and then you can continue on it day by day so take up these challenges don't you know wait for the right time or the right moment if you have to start automation don't wait that you know you will learn some programming languages first you will first take some uh, complete course com uh, complete the entire course and then you will start on it you start and start by doing and learn by doing so this is the best way i think you will learn automation and you will do automation whether you want to switch from manual to automation or even if you want to start on automation directly i think this is the best way you just decide on the application like whether it is api or ui or the database or whatever it is and then you see the tools available if you have something which is already used in your company or organizations you can just start on it or you can see what is the best option and start doing it and you will see the results coming from day one and of course you will face challenges and that is i believe the best part see when you face uh, when you uh, when you are stuck you face some blocker you face some challenge you go online and check and write your query that i want to do this in this particular framework or in this particular tool how should i do this and you will get a lot of options and you try those on your tool on your framework and you will see you will run it and you will see the results and something will work for you and you just have to continue with that on a daily basis so this is how you will learn automation it is not rocket science like any other thing you can learn automation as well it's just by doing it and for automation hands-on is very very important and see uh, when i was working in this startup when i started and created the automation framework all by myself and then we grew into a team i was the person who was uh, responsible for teaching and uh, preparing the new teammates whoever joined i was uh, doing the kts and teaching them how to use it and that they, that is where that is when my passion for teaching also developed so it is all linked and that is how i started teaching and i developed an interest in teaching and then i had a thought that uh, i have been doing automation for a long time now and whenever i am stuck i go online i check for online resources sometimes i get some videos sometimes i get some you know text solutions and they help me a lot so i thought it is high time that now i should start giving back what i have learned and that is when i started uh, you know teaching i added some of my videos on youtube and that is how it started growing so you can also do the same thing just start with whatever you have now and don't wait don't procrastinate whatever is available now whatever time is available whatever options and resources you have start on it start small and very soon you will see you have gone a great distance i hope this all was very useful i will share some more stories with you in the coming days or weeks and let me know what all you want to hear from me i'll see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning